Discover Monrovia, the poorest city in the world. Hello, Desplorers. Welcome to another informative video presented to you by Desplor and thanks for watching. In this video, we will take you on one of our city tours to discover the poorest city in the world, Monrovia. Monrovia is the capital city of the West African country of Liberia, located on the Atlantic coast of Cape Miserado. With 29% of the total population of Liberia, Monrovia is the country's most popular city with a very liberating past. Monrovia's economy is shaped primarily by its harbor and its role as the location of Liberia's government offices. But this city is currently considered the poorest city in the world because of the low living standards as well as the predominance of slums in the city. In this video, we shall look into the validity of this phenomenon as well as the evidence of it. But first, let us look into the background and creation of Monrovia. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. History In 1816, with the aim of establishing a self-sufficient colony for emancipated American slaves, something that had already been accomplished in Freetown, the first settlers arrived in Africa from the United States, under the auspices of the American Colonization Society. They landed at Cherbro Island in present-day Sierra Leone. On January 7, 1822, a second ship rescued the settlers and took them to Cape Maserado, establishing the settlement of Cristopolis. In 1824, the city was renamed Monrovia after James Monroe, then President of the United States, who was a prominent supporter of the colony in sending freed black slaves and ex-Caribbean slaves from the United States of America and Caribbean islands to Liberia and who saw it as preferable to emancipation in America. In 1845, Monrovia was the site of the Constitutional Convention held by the American Colonization Society, which drafted a constitution that would two years later be the constitution of an independent and sovereign republic of Liberia. At the beginning of the 20th century, Monrovia was divided into two parts, Monrovia proper, where the city's American Liberian population resided, and was the reminiscence of the South United States in architecture and Crew Town, which was mainly inhabited by ethnic crews, but also Bassas, Grebos, and other ethnicities. By 1926, ethnic groups from Liberia's interior began migrating to Monrovia in search of jobs, which grew the population of Monrovia to 10,000 by 1937, with 30 police department members. The city was severely damaged in the First and Second Liberian Civil Wars, notably during the siege of Monrovia, with many buildings damaged and nearly all infrastructure destroyed. Major battles occurred between Samuel Doe's government and Prince Johnson's forces in 1990, and with the NPFL's assault of the city in 1992. A legacy of war is a large population of homeless children and youth, either having been involved in the fighting or denied an education by it. In 2002, Lane McBowie organized the Women of Liberia Mass Action for Peace with local women praying and singing in a fish market in Monrovia. This movement helped bring an end to the Second Liberian Civil War in 2003 and the election of Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in Liberia, the first African nation with a female president. But in 2014, disaster struck again as the city was affected by the 2014 West Africa Ebola outbreak which was declared over on the 3rd of September 2015. The wettest world capital city Under the Köppen climate classification, Monrovia features a tropical monsoon climate. During the course of the year, Monrovia sees a copious amount of precipitation, averaging 4,624 mm of rain per year. In fact, Monrovia is the wettest capital city in the world in terms of annual precipitation. The climate features a wet season and a dry season, but precipitation is seen even during the dry season and temperatures remain constant throughout the year, averaging around 26.4 degrees Celsius. Neighborhood The city of Monrovia consists of several districts spread across the Mesorado Peninsula, with the greater metropolitan area encircling the marshy Mesorado River's mouth. The historic downtown center on Broad Street is at the very end of the peninsula, with the major market district Waterside immediately to the north, facing the city's large natural harbor. Northwest of the Waterside is the large low-income West Point community. To the west and southwest of downtown lies Mamba Point, 
traditionally the city's principal diplomatic quarter and home to the embassies of the United States and United Kingdom as well as the European Union delegation. South of the city centre is Capitol Hill, where the major institutions of national government, including the Temple of Justice and the Executive Mansion, are located. Further east down the peninsula is the Sinkor section of Monrovia. Originally a suburban residential district, today Sinkor acts as Monrovia's bustling midtown, hosting many diplomatic missions as well as major hotels, businesses, as well as several residential neighborhoods, including formal communities such as Plumcor, Jogpen Town, Lakpazi, and Fiamma. Further east of the airfield is the old road section of Sinkor, which is predominantly residential, including informal settlements like Chukbor and Gay Town. Economy of Monrovia Monrovia's economy is dominated by its harbor, the free port of Monrovia, and as the location of Liberia's government offices. Monrovia's harbor was significantly expanded by U.S. forces during the Second World War, and the main exports include latex and iron ore. Materials are also manufactured on site, such as cement, refined petroleum, food products, brick, tile, furniture, and chemicals. Located on Bush Road Island, between the mouths of Miserado and St. Paul rivers, the harbor also facilitates for storing and repairing vessels. Culture and Media Attractions in Monrovia include the Liberian National Museum, the Masonic Temple, the Waterside Market, and the several beaches. The city also houses Antoinette Tubman Stadium and the Samuel Kado Sports Complex Sports Stadiums, which is one of the largest stadiums in Africa with 40,000 seats. The newspaper industry in Monrovia extends back to the 1820s when the Liberia Herald opened as one of the first newspapers published in Africa. Today, numerous tabloid style newspapers are printed on daily or bi weekly basis, most of which are no more than 20 pages. Radio and TV stations are available, with radio being a more prominent source of news as problems with the electric grid make watching television more difficult. Education Monrovia is home to the University of Liberia, along with the African Methodist Episcopal University, United Methodist University, Stella Maris Polytechnic, and many other public and private schools. Medical education is offered at the A.M. Degliotti College of Medicine, and there is a nursing and paramedical school at the Tubman National Institute of Medical Arts. Kindergarten through 12th grade education is provided by the Monrovia Consolidated School System, which serves the Greater Monrovia area. Schools include Monrovia Central High School, Botswain High School, D. Tway High School, G. W. Gibson High School, and William V. S. Tubman High School. The American International School of Monrovia is located in Congo Town. Pollution Pollution is a significant issue in Monrovia as piles of household and industrial rubbish in Monrovia build up and are not always collected by sanitation companies paid by the World Bank to collect this waste. In 2013, the problem of uncollected rubbish became so acute in the Painesville area of Monrovia that traders and residents burned the huge garbage piles that seemed on the verge of cutting off the main road out of Monrovia to Kakata. Flooding brings environmental problems to residents of Monrovia as flood water mixes with and carries waste found in swamps that are often on the verge of residential areas. In 2009, one third of Monrovia's 1.5 million people had access to clean toilets. Those without their own toilets defecate in the narrow alleyways between their houses, on the beach, or into plastic bags which they dump on nearby piles of rubbish or into the sea. Congested housing, no requirement that landlords provide walk-in toilets, and virtually no urban planning have combined to create lethal sanitation conditions in the capital. Why Monrovia is considered the poorest city in the world? In the examination of the 10 poorest cities in the world, all 10 of them are in Africa, and theories suggest that the poorest city in the world is Monrovia, the capital city of Liberia. The problem of Monrovia being considered the poorest city in the world is not far-fetched as it stems from the country itself. Despite being one of the least populated as well as the oldest independent countries in Africa, it still remains one of the poorest in Africa. Poverty and hunger still remain one of the biggest problems in Liberia. 
despite policies and organizations striving to curb it down. According to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, Liberia is a low-income and food deficit country as over half of the country's population is food insecure or highly vulnerable to food insecurity. 29% of Liberia's over 4 million citizens live in Monrovia and at the beginning of the century, over 80% of the people living in the city were living in poverty, with gross national income estimated at $790 annually and 85% of the population living on less than $1 per day, there are plethora of factors which have left the city in such bad shape. Conflict with neighboring country Sierra Leone has had a major impact on the city. Despite the civil war that ended 12 years ago, the city still endures the effects. The constant turmoil between the two countries has caused the educational system to be broken down, abject poverty, and inadequate educational access in these slums. The children of Monrovia continue to be subjected to the circle of both poverty and illiteracy. On the outskirts of the city, the agricultural sectors have major challenges that compound its poverty. There are low yields as a result of technological disadvantages. Inadequate roads and little to no access to markets limit the possible value chains. In Monrovia, basic necessities such as electricity and water are rarely available and unreliable. Both the healthcare and social services are lacking. The GDP, the health expenditures, amount to just 10%, and the amount of health expenditures per capita is $8 annually. Another problem is that of floods, which has rendered many low-maintenance places to be slums. The streets of Monrovia are filthy, dangerous, and unfinished, making it very unsafe to drive on them. The city lacks infrastructure and public transportation, despite being the capital city. In Monrovia, the crime index is 82.81, and it has a safety index of 17.19, and the crime rate remains on the rise. Conclusion Monrovia is a city that is home of many precious germ and diamond mines, but violent acts and war crimes caused by the struggles to control these treasures have left the city war-torn and vulnerable as a result of exploitation of no true supply chain. The resource-rich city suffers from the pandemic of poverty and hunger caused by low education, bad weather conditions, which lead to poor agricultural output and has left the city in slums. Most of its citizens only strive for daily bread and hence why this great city with so much potential is currently considered the poorest city in the world. There you have it, Desplorers. That was a discovery of the poorest city in the world, Monrovia. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.